I didn't want anything to do with God. The thing that I struggled most with was homosexuality. It was that I felt that I wasn't loved and that I wasn't deserving of love. I literally went to everything else besides God himself on purpose. When I got to know the truth about his grace and that it wasn't something that I could earn or work towards. It, I would say from the moment that um, I found um, a church, when I went there, I met all these people who were very, just filled with joy and very like, filled with happiness. And I was like, I'm not understanding this. So God really redeemed that part of my life of like not having that love that I've always wanted from the community, the body of Christ. Like, um, one of my biggest refuges was weed. And I used that for everything. Eventually I would just get panic attack after panic attack. One time I had one of the worst episodes of that and I had no other choice but to call Jesus and he came immediately. When I just truly believed that what Jesus did for me on the cross was enough, um, it, it ended up producing in me compassion for myself and, and grace, and that's what I believe really redeemed me. It changed everything for me because then I realized it was no longer about what I could do, but what was already done. By believing that what Jesus did for me was enough, I could live from that place of being enough. A Roman soldier, someone who persecuted and arrested Christians, learned that no matter what his past is, he always had a second chance. So plan to join us April 8th through the 10th at Calvary Church to see that anything that may feel broken or too far gone always has a second chance with God. For more information, visit calvarydover.org.